So as you know, we've seen huge advancements in machine learning, AI as it's being commonly called in the last couple of years, large language models, image generators, music generators, uh, coding. Now, the next logical step after image generation is, of course, video generation. And we've seen various uh, video generators come out. And a new one that was announced very recently is from Google itself, from its DeepMind, that's its machine learning kind of subsidiary. And it's called Google VO2. And it hasn't been launched as a consumer product where you just go to the website. It's kind of launched available for others to build services on top of it. And a company called FreePick, who historically offered free stock photos, hence free pick, but they now offer, as well as that, they now offer uh, AI generated tools, uh, has teamed up with Google to bring VO2 to people like me and to you. So in this video, I wanna show you how VO2 works and see what kind of videos you can get out of it. If you wanna find out more, please let me explain. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is a video that I made myself using VO2. Now, what I mean by video is not just one clip. I tried to make a little short movie. It's one minute long. And the first thing I want to tell you is that filmmaking is very different to YouTube. I do a lot of YouTube, been doing it now for seven years. That's very different to conceptualizing you know, a movie, I just made a one minute one and it was really difficult. And in all honesty, from a filmmaking point of view, it's not very good. And I admit that from the start, but from the video point of view, the video in it is absolutely amazing. What VO2 has created in terms of stitching it together as a video, as a story to make a movie, even if it's one minute long, is really, really hard. But uh, total respect for filmmakers when I've done this. But anyway, enough of the flapping about, here's the video created by me using VO2. Okay, so let's go over to the FreePick website now and show you VO2 in action. Okay then, so to test out Google's VO2 video generator, I'm going to be using the FreePick website. There are free plans available on this website and there are also paid for plans. To get the video creation, you do need a paid for plan. This website can do so many different things. If you just click on this little menu here, you can see all these AI, image generator, video generator, upscale, retouch, background remover, all the things that we would expect from an AI suite related to uh, imagery graphics today. They've also got a content library of the free pick stuff back in the day, the actual stock photos and video footage and so on. Now what we do, go over here, you click create, that will allow us to, to create images and so on. We want to create videos, that's the first thing we want to do. And then here we have some control. So the normal default would be, you know, a high quality video or a rendered fast video. We're going to go with custom because once you go with custom, you can click here and you can pick different uh, models. So we're concentrating on Google VO2, that's what we want to use. That's now available here on FreePick. And then you want to give yourself a description. Now, one of the good features about this, if I just say something like, you know, a frog jumping on a leaf or something like that, that may not be enough for a good generation because the more description you've got, the better you're going to get with all models. And it's true with images and all these kinds of stuff. It's got this little magic wand here, enhance the prompt. So it will actually use AI itself to create a much better prompt. And it says, you know, a vibrant scene depicting a frog gracefully leaping onto a lush green leaf, you know. So it gives it that much more uh, better, uh, you know, kind of description. Now I've got one I've already prepared. 
And it's basically a cat walking through a city library, but I've used the AI tool. So it's in a bustling city library, a curious cat elegantly adorned with a classical top hat. That's the important thing. Strolls confidently towards the camera. So I'm asking this to create me a completely artificial scene. I want a cat in a top hat walking through a, a bustling city library. So let's go ahead. Uh, you can pick the time here. Eight seconds. Let's go. 16 by nine sounds good to me. Let's go ahead and generate that. OK, so it took it a couple of minutes. This is the uh, video it's created. Let's just hit play and have a look at that. So there we got our cat in the top hat walking between two rows of books. Absolutely brilliant. Look at that. So let's play it again. Let's just uh, reflect on some of that. So the lighting here, it starts off bright. It changes to a different type of floor here. There's a shadow, the outer focus in the background, the books in the front are in focus. That's really nice. If anything, bit the walks a bit like a cartoon. It's not as natural maybe as a, a a cat might be, but then again, it wouldn't be wearing a top hat. So, you know, you can expect that kind of thing. So there you go. That was just one shot. Here's what you asked me to make, and it's created me basically exactly what I wanted. That's uh, that's pretty impressive. Okay, so they have it, VO2. Love to hear your thoughts. What do you think of the quality of that output? Do you think it's good at following the instructions that you give it? My name's Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If you like these kind of videos, why not stick around by subscribing to the channel? Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.